this is how you move a deer stand. Well, we're going down the hill anyway. Hey everyone, thank you guys so much for watching. First off, happy almost new year. Hope you guys enjoy the video. This is catching up from when I, uh, basically the beginning of when I had COVID. So I'll talk about that in the next video. Look at that. <clears throat> you are looking at beautiful Jackson County, Iowa, folks. Chestnut Ski Resort. Looks like they're starting to make a little snow over there. You got the mud band, you know it. Last night was a great time at the Christmas parade. Had lots of people in town. I actually had seven officers working the parade to make it safe, plus a bunch of firemen. So we try to make it as safe as possible. It was a great time. So today is the 20, I think the 8th already of November. Went to church this morning with the family. Got the mustache going on here, but two more days, Gandhi. No shave November, just on the mustache for me, So, but it's leaving. And today I gotta run out, I'm gonna check the cows real quick. Maybe I have to give a bale of hay, and then I'm gonna pull a fencer that I was gonna pull last week and didn't get around to it, so I gotta pull that today. And then Ron, or I guess all the kids are gonna be up. Ron and Chrislyn, Bob and Kate, Bob's girlfriend Kate from Nebraska. She's a Nebraska fan. She had a pretty good first half on Friday when Iowa was out playing Nebraska, but the second half wasn't so good for Nebraska fans. My sister graduated from Nebraska too. So Iowa prevailed um, and Rebecca's back. So we'll have the whole family back. We're gonna have our Thanksgiving today. So, okay, well I will see you out at the farm. You stop in the office real quick to grab something. Well, there's Cody. Hi Cody. Hey bud man. What's going on? Just living the dream. Absolutely. Why won't you? Having my morning coffee. You want to say something to Raider? How you doing, Raider? <laughs> Old buddy. You're not going to be too happy with that, are you, Mr. Raider? Oh, well, you'll get over that. That's kind of cool. I don't see any deer back there. He didn't either. <laughs> so that's not good. Oh, he saw a couple. Did you? By the rattlesnake, yeah. Okay, we're down here in the cornfield. We're going to give him another bale of hay down here. We'll get that too. Okay, I'm back here by the creek. I am going to take off. Ooh, I hate those. They stick to you. I'm going to take this off today and take this back and get it out of the weather. That's my job. Here we go. Nice day out. As you can see, the corn's gone. Hay looks pretty good. I'm going to grab me a couple bales and we're going to uh, go down and feed Z cows. Now we'll get the front one. Stick this bad boy. There, we got two bales. One, two, and we'll take them down and we'll feed them. Okay, we've got a car coming. Heading down toward the cows. I'll feed these bales real quick. They're gonna go home, gonna make some steak and shrimp for the kids. Ron's on his way up with Chrislin, so they should be up there by the time I get home. So we'll see you down there in the field. Well, they're out eating anyway. That's good. Get these bales fed to them so they'll be happy. Beautiful day. It's about 35 degrees, sun shining. No white stuff on the ground. That's beautiful. Not good for deer hunting, but oh well. Okay, let's dump this bale in the feeder here. There it goes. Now I gotta go in the other field over there and get the other ring. Put the other ring over here and then we'll have her. Licking salt, licking mineral, lick tubs. So I got the other brown bale ring that was in this field here. I want to feed them. Last year I fed them in this field here, but when the snow got too deep, they couldn't get across into the creek to get water. So this year I'm going to feed them on that side. That way, uh, if, if and when the snow comes, 
they can get to the water a lot easier. So that's my game plan. I'm starting to get hungry, so we gotta go eat. Okay, so I got one bale over there. You see, I got one bale here I'm gonna put here. So now I'm gonna take the wrap off it. Okay, so there's the wrap off it. Took the wrap off the bale, and then we'll dump the bale into the barrel bale feeder. And the cow should be content for a while. Take my gloves off. Drop it down. And it should drop. Now they should be content for a while, hopefully. Looks like about 33 I'm in here. So we're done for today. Now we're gonna go back and uh we'll go back and uh put the tractor away and head up to the house. So welcome to Hard Tongue Family Farms. Make sure you put any comments, concerns down, and we will get them answered. Gate shut. The cows are content. Time to head back to the shed. Next weekend we'll be walking these hills for deer. There are those hills up there. With a little buck. Yeah. That's got to get some work done on this year. So, corn crib looks really good. It's got Hart Tongue Farms I.O. on it. See that up there? That's kind of cool. 1120, so it took me two hours to do what I had to do. So, but it is what it is. You got to get her done. I also brought the sprayer home. That's at the back there. I don't know if you can see it now. Get that so it doesn't freeze up too much. So we'll get that at home. We got another sprayer here to clean out. Tis the season for cold weather here in Jackson County, Iowa. So my chores will be done. The cows are looking good. So we're going to head home and cook some steak. Well, good morning. Welcome to Heart Tongue Family Farms. It is the last day of November and she is a sad day in Bellevue, Iowa today. I will show you here in about 10 seconds why it's a sad day. We have a tree in town that's probably, I'm going to guess, somewhere between that 125, 150 years old. And they are taking it down, and it's a big stir with the city. Some of the residents are really upset about it. They are going to take it down, and there it is right there. It is a huge cottonwood tree. They had several people look at it and said that it's dying and it needed to come down. But this tree, over the years, the course of my lifetime, I've always seen eagles land in it. It's really cool. If it gets cold enough and that water freezes out there, up here, there, there'll be somewhere between 100 to 200 eagles around Bellevue. And there's several that land in that tree right there. So it's a sad, sad day, but I guess it's a safer day because it has to come down and then they're gonna plant another tree up, some kind of a tree there. So it, I probably won't see, you know, 125, 150 years old. So another 15, 20 years, it won't be that big. This is the before picture and I will come back later on and get you the after picture. But like I said, a lot of people upset about this because they want it to stay. Somebody actually donated the money to actually carve an eagle, which would have been really cool in the trunk of that. But I guess this cotton was a really soft tree. I guess I don't know a lot about trees, but that's what they say and that won't last very long. So, but my point was, it doesn't cost the city anything to do it. Why don't they do it? Oh well, it's not my choice. What are you doing? Doing the ramp. So then I can load that onto that. You can't, uh, I can't reach high enough. I yeah. can't get far enough into the truck with it uh, if I don't have a ramp to it. I was wondering what you were doing because you were doing some dumb things. I thought. <laughs> That's the Is that bedding? What are you doing with that? Using it for cattle, putting cattle yards for bedding. What's wrong with corn stock bales? You run out of them. Nothing's wrong with corn stock bales. They use them too. This is just a supplement. And it helps out the city because it gets rid of it. Well, over time, we will. Cody, good seeing you, old buddy. It's good seeing you, bud, man. <laughs> Little update on the tree. Slowly but surely going down. It's about half down. 
There's Cody. We're gonna check out the bottom side of this tree. Looks like they're back cutting. Oh, they got this done. See that? This is for people that are wheelchair bound or kind of handicapped that they can't get into a boat. So what they do is they walk up this thing here. Then they can pull their boat right alongside here. They can just get in. So that's kind of cool. They finally got that done. I'm gonna give Scotty Gritters a lot of credit for getting that done. Thank you, Scotty Gritters, all the fishermen. Thank you. That's actually Ron's classmate from high school, Cameron Wilson. See, they got a lot of it down already. That is really cool. There's the mighty Mississippi River. Really low too, really low. There is not much left of it. Almost makes me want to have tears in my eyes, but she's a done deal. That's it. Looks like she's coming down. As you can see, it's down all but the trunk. You see they got a rope tied to the top coming down to the skid loader. Just to keep pressure on it so it does come this way. Cameron's still cutting away. We went and got a different saw for some reason. And then I missed it. Well, I got the last half of it anyway. But it's down. She's a sad, sad day. Now they'll clean it up, get rid of the stump, and they will plant another tree in there. Okay, it's down. Nobody got hurt. That's the big thing. Well, hello again. You know it. It is the Bud Man. So I just want to get you a view from this way here again. As you can see, it is Gandhi. Not a good deal. Not happy. That tree's been there for every year I've been coming down here fishing. But nothing you can do now but to clean it up and put another tree in there so it grows up to be a better one. I have to get you some lights here at night because we got Christmas lights all along the park. My wife actually helped put some of those up. So here's some more all the way up. You see them. I have to go get a haircut. It is Tuesday the 30th, the last day of November. Guess what leaves today? This. No shave November is over with, so I will shave that tomorrow. Tonight we have a game in Cascade, Iowa. Ronald, my boy, our other partner, Jim Hollinsby, and myself are heading to Cascade to do a Monticello varsity girl boy basketball game tonight. So it starts at 6.15, so we're going to leave about 4.30 and head on up there. Well, there's my wife's school. She's the principal there. Good afternoon, everyone. It's about 3 o'clock on December 2nd already. Hard to believe. And it's 59 degrees. So I'm off to the farm. I got a couple things I want to do. I want to check the cows naturally for hay. I want to move a homemade ladder stand we have out there. I want to move it back a couple hundred yards. Ron says it's too close. So I'll get it moved back. He's coming up tomorrow so he can actually put it down and stabilize it, I guess, and shoot, get shooting lanes for it. I have a tree, a tree that fell down. I want to cut that up and bring that down so it can get picked up. It's got a little bit of value to it, they tell me. I guess one, 200 bucks is better than nothing. Letting it grow to where it wastes, so. That's what I'm gonna do today. Check cows, move the stand, and bring a tree down. Don't forget the camera, which I've been known to do. I will get a little video of that too. So I'm out the farm. You can see my light flashing in the mirror. Got a bale there. I got a bale there. I got a chainsaw here. And I got some chains down there. I'm going to head down and see what we got going on down there. And I'm going to move some stuff around. Deer hunting this weekend. Can't wait. Well, the cows are still out here. But it looks like they pretty much got my bales cleaned up. So I'll just put these in here for now so they have it. That way I don't have to do it this weekend, hopefully. So. Just dropped off one bale, and I'll take the other one over to this one. And today's Thursday, so hopefully that would be good till like Monday. Down it goes. There's old growly number 12, 28, 29, 30. And this is how you move a deer stand. Well, we 
We're going down the hill anyway. I think the bark's coming off, so I don't know if that's good or bad. Could be interesting going around this corner here. Well, I got about halfway down right now, so we'll see what happens when I get the rest of the way. I lost all the bark, so I don't know if that's going to be any good or not. It's not that, it'd be firewood. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Thank you guys for making this far. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, be sure to drop a comment down below and tell me that you liked it. Tell me guys what you want to change about it. As we're getting into the winter off season, I am going to be slowing down on some of the videos and basically you just because A, there's not as much content and B, I want to kind of take a little bit of time off, spend some time with the family, you know, you know, all that fun stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if there's anything you guys would like to do would like me to make a video on i am planning on making like an after season review on the brand new combine talk about our winter upgrade purchases that we are planning on making we do have a new uh, delivery coming at some point so you guys guess down below what the new toy that's going to be coming two toys actually um like i said thank you guys so much again so much for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe follow us on facebook and instagram and heart tongue family farms and of course guys as always ta -da for now